Hello. Hey. This is Melissa. And this is Kat. I am so hungover. <laughs> I'm just tired. Happy 50th episode. Yay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Today I'm watching TV and I'm posting on my Insta story. Oh no. Because I was watching Love on the Spectrum and I was posting all my favorite characters and I was like. Characters? They're real people. They're characters in the show. Yeah, I mean, but they're not like portraying characters like they are themselves. Does that make them not characters? Yeah. What would I call them? People. You wouldn't say like Snooki is a character on the Jersey Shore? Like, no, I don't know. Because she's a cast member. A person on the show. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, they're people on a show. They're characters. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so today I'm watching... Love on the Spectrum, and I was putting on my Instagram story like, oh my gosh, like these are my favorite people on the show. I'm so happy to see them. And I took a photo of our TV, but there was like definitely a face in the photo, but it wasn't like, at first I thought maybe like it was a reflection of like the person in the show's face, but it wasn't. No, it was like at a different angle. It was above it. It was... It looked like somebody like wearing a mask. Yeah. It was so scary. It had like eyes and then just like a slit mouth that was frowning and no nose. And it was like a perfect oval. Should we put... I'm going to put it on our story. It's horrifying. And when I tell you guys, we hear like noises in our house all the time, but obviously like houses settle. So... No, I've never... You don't hear stuff? No. Oh, I do all the time. But I just assume it's just like the house settling. Anyway, it's our 50th episode. Yay! We made it. We did it! <laughs> I can't believe it. We've done 50 Disney movies. That's so crazy. That's insane. <laughs> so this time we're here to tell you why Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> I really like, was like, "What are you?" Cat was like doing the wave her hand thing, like, like the keep going. Like, <laughs> she just stopped. It's just Snow White. There's no dwarfs in this movie. <laughs> I'm so fucking hungover. Fuck. <laughs> So this time, <laughs> let's do it right on our 50th episode, yeah, you know? Yeah, probably should. So this time, we're here to tell you why Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is tragical. <laughs> you got to really emphasize the F in dwarfs, dwarfs because it's not correct. Well, I got some fun facts for you. I'm excited for like whatever fun facts you have for this, honestly. Maybe I can help you out with... Uh, the dwarfs thing to start. Oh. When the movie was released, it was generally accepted that the correct plural form of dwarf was dwarfs. J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit, published a year earlier and later Lord of the Rings, gradually popularized the uncommon variant dwarves. Wait, so Tolkien is the reason that it's with a V-E? Yeah, pretty much. What? That's so, crazy. I know. So dwarfs was like more popular. And then when The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings came out, people started saying dwarves more. And then dwarves got popularized. So like both are correct, technically. I genuinely thought that like dwarfs with an F was like legit incorrect English. Like and that they just up, said yeah. oops and just <laughs> went with it for the last. No. That's so crazy. What the heck? Yep. All right, Tolkien, I see you. So... The dwarves' original names were Snick, Glick, Blick, Flick, Plick, Wick, and Quee. I hate all of that. <laughs> I literally hated all of that. Wait, say them again. I like Quee. That's about it. Snick, Glick, Blick, Flick, Plick, Wick, and Quee. But there were <laughs> your face. For what reason? 
Hamilton. Uh, that's what they were. Those are their original names. I hate that. I really hate that. Um, 50 different ideas for the dwarfs' names and personalities were listed in the film's proposal. Uh, the list includes all the names included except for Dopey and Doc. Dopey being the last to be developed, actually. So some of the dwarfs were Awful. Awful's my favorite because he steals and drinks and is very dirty. Wait, his name was Awful? Uh-huh. I thought you were saying like some of like the ideas were awful, but no, no you're saying his name was literally they Awful. They named one Awful. <laughs> yeah. And he was an alcoholic and he was dirty. <laughs> oh my God. And he but liked to steal. Does stuff. it say more of them? Yeah. There was um, Biggie Wiggy, which then got... Uh- which then got changed to Big O Ego. Ah, Biggie Wiggy. Biggie Wiggy. Big O Ego. Wait, what is his personality? Does it say? I'm sure he had a big ego, you dumb thing. Oh. <laughs> that makes sense. There was Blabby. Me. <laughs> Are you ready? This one's bad. Deffy. <gasps> I know. Oh, no. That's rough. Dirty. <laughs> Oh my God. Gabby. Me. Gaspy. I gasp all the time. That's me too. Gloomy. Ooh, tag yourself. I'm fucking gloomy. (laughs) I'm either awful or gloomy. gloomy. (laughs) I'm blabby and Gabby. There was Hoppy Jumpy. (laughs) Is that one name? (laughs) Hoppy Jumpy? Hoppy Jumpy. No. No. Hotsy. What do you think his personality I was? Know. I need to know. Ellen? <laughs> Ellen? I need to know. I need you to get the archives. John T. Nifty. J- just John T? John T. Oh, like John T. <laughs> I thought you meant like J O H N T. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll take John T though. <laughs> no, John T. J A U N T Y. John T. He's the Sean I. <laughs> Nifty. I like that. Shifty. Oh. So those were some of them. Um, Sneezy was a last minute replacement for Deffy. Thank God. Could you imagine? That would not have aged well. God. <laughs> oh That's my awful. Goodness. Deffy. Um, actually, the Peanuts creator, Charles M. Schulz, once wrote that he had heard that another name considered for one of the dwarfs was Snoopy, and he was relieved that it wasn't used because he used it later on for his famous cartoon beagle, Snoopy. Oh, that would have been weird. Yeah, I guess he would have not named Snoopy Snoopy then. Yeah, because it would have been like stealing. He would have been stealing from Walt. But I can't yeah, believe those are any just, of them. I know. <laughs> Do you want me to read them all back for fun? <laughs> yeah, please. Okay, there was... Awful, Biggie Wiggy, Big O Ego, Blabby, Deffy, Dirty, Gabby, Gaspy, Gloomy, Hoppy Jumpy. <laughs> Hoppy, Hoppy Jumpy. jumpy. Hotsy, Jaunty, Nifty, Shifty, and Snoopy. Like imagine Those years were some later. of the 50. I want to know all 50. I want to know them all. Like years later, you're just like, who is your favorite door from Seven Doors? Deffy. Hoppy Jumpy. <laughs> Deffy. Awful. <laughs> I think Awful to get his own fucking movie. He's the eighth door that like ran away because he was like a kleptomaniac. They kicked him out of the mine. <laughs> he couldn't stop stealing the diamonds. <laughs> okay. At a recording session, Lucille Laverne, the voice of the Wicked Queen, was told by Walt Disney's animators that they needed an older, raspier version of the Queen's voice for the old witch. Uh, Laverne stepped out of the recording booth, returned a few minutes later, and gave a perfect old hag's voice that stunned the animators. When asked how she did it, she replied, oh, I just took my teeth out. What? (laughs) What? She just took her teeth out. What? Just took took her teeth out? Took her dentures out. Oh, no. Isn't that beautiful? How did that make her voice raspier? That would just make you gummy. I think it just made her sound more like an old lady. She probably laid on the raspy, but I think the taking her teeth out helped. I need to hear the hag talk now because I need to hear like... (laughs) Her gumminess. Yeah. (laughs) Ew, what? I hate that. What the heck? And last one. This is the first full-length animated feature film. Woo! Standing at, what was it? 83 minutes, something mm-hmm. like that? Yep. And I got all of those from IMDb, the internet movie database. I can't believe all their names. I literally will never get over that for the rest of my life. I'm awful. But the even the original names from like the the original story, like 
snick, glick, blick, flick, plick, wick, and quee. Like, what the fuck? Who would remember those? It's quee for me. <laughs> it might be quay. I don't know. Q-U-E-E. -E. Quee. I think it's quee. Quee. Have you heard that sound on TikTok where it's just like, oh, eh. <laughs> and that's what quee sounds like. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Quee. <laughs> oh, man. I'm dead. That's the sound playing in my brain 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get into it? Let's do it. Ooh. Of course, since this is the the first. The first we, one. The first forced credits. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It starts with a cute little note from Walt, which I guess I never really paid attention to, but it's like him thanking everyone who worked on the movie for making it possible. Isn't that so cute? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I guess I never just noticed that it was there. I don't really watch this movie that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so along with our forced credits, we also have... The book. We have a book. It's the first one. Yay. It's so pretty. And we have our evil queen. She's talking to her enchanted mirror. Which everyone gets the saying wrong. Everyone says mirror mirror on the wall, but she says magic mirror on the wall. It drives me crazy that people get it wrong. It's on like merch and everything. Is it? Yeah. Like they have it on <laughs> merch, like at the parks and stuff. They have the, their own quote wrong. Oh, that's interesting. I, I never it. noticed. I think it's just because people always say mirror, mirror. I guess so. It's wrong. It's magic mirror. Never noticed because I don't care. <laughs> um. So basically the evil queen is like, hey, mirror, tell me I'm the hottest bitch in all of the land. And the mirror says, actually, your stepdaughter, Snow White, the 14 year old, she's definitely like a lot hotter than you are. Um, but you're like close second. Yeah. And the queen is like, that's not going to fly. <laughs> she's literally made her stepdaughter, who is the princess, a scullery maid. Yeah. She put her in rags and makes her clean the steps outside. I think Snow White... I think she was just doing chores because she was bored. I don't know. I guess whatever. No, it says in the storybook that the queen forced her to be a scullery maid. She didn't seem like she hated it too much. Yeah, she was she, chilling. <laughs> she's enjoying the time. So now we meet our Snow White. I'm pretty sure Snow White's parents were Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> like, who named her? Blue Ivy. And then you have Snow White. Her sister's Blue Ivy. It's just like, I mean, her real parents are in the story, so I guess we could never know. What would your Beyonce child name be? You have to pick an item, an inanimate object, and a color. Oh, man. I My favorite color is black. So it would have to be like, I don't know. What would be like a really dope name? Just River Black or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's my Snow White name. What my favorite color is pink. What would mine be? I don't even know. Leaf pink. <laughs> That's honestly terrible. You did a really bad job. I'm trying to think of like, because it's all like nature things. Like blue ivy and uh -huh. snow white. But why leaf? I don't know. What's your favorite nature item? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like nature. <laughs> um, Pick I don't the castle. Know. It'd be castle pink. Oh, I like that. You're welcome. See, I'm good at this. Beyonce, <laughs> Jay-Z, call item. me. Whatever. It's, <laughs> it's just an inanimate object. <laughs> you don't like nature, so why would you pick nature or something? That's true. Castle it's pink. better than leaf, you dumb <laughs> Well, I like fall, so I thought leaf because fall. <laughs> what about autumn pink? Okay, I like that. God, uh, what would you do without me? <laughs> Be leaf pink. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm also working on half a brain cell today and I'm still thriving. I've been awake since 4 a.m. Okay, I'm so tired. That's like about <laughs> what time I went to bed. So. I know, again. <laughs> I got to stop staying out. <laughs> There's been multiple times where Melissa is walking in the door and I'm waking up for work at like 430 in the morning. Like I am making my coffee for work and Melissa is stumbling home. <laughs> it has happened a few times. I'm sorry, Autumn Pink. It's OK, River Black. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, we're two seconds into this movie. Um, <laughs> Snow White is in the courtyard. She's at the wishing well. Harassing birds. Singing to some birds. She got a lot of makeup on and her hair is all done up, but she has on like clogs and a ratty tatty <laughs> dress that has like 500 holes in it. It's the wooden clogs for me. <laughs> 
Like, she really beat her face that morning, though, to go do chores. She sure did. (laughs) She said, maybe today's the day that I find my prince. And she sings about it. (laughs) That's true. So she's singing in the wishing well, and she's like, I hope my prince comes. And he does. And she runs away. Yeah, she gets a little spooked when he sings back at her. And so she runs up to her room. And this is literally what she just wished for. She literally says the words, I wish my prince would come today. And then he does. And she runs from him. He scared her. She's 14. He's wearing more lipstick than she is. Honestly. (laughs) So he keeps singing up to her and she steps out onto her balcony and she lets him like serenade her. And they're like all cute and lovey dovey. And she's like, oh, my God, I love you. You're so handsome. And she makes out with a bird and sends it to him. And then the bird (laughs) makes out with him for her. (laughs) So horrifying. I mean, not exactly, but okay. Dirty bird. (laughs) She just gives him a little peck, but okay, make it weird. I hated it. Anyway, (laughs) so the queen is watching over this and she gets very pissed off that not only is Snow White freaking beautiful and now she's getting the prince of like some other kingdom. Some other kingdom, yeah. You would think (laughs) that would be okay though, because then she could just like marry the prince and then move out of her kingdom and then she could just be the most beautiful person in her kingdom. But she wants to be the most beautiful like in the world, I guess. Yeah, she's just a close second. So we cut to the queen talking to a huntsman. She's like, hey, do me a quick favor. Take Snow White into the forest and cut her heart out of her fucking chest and then put it in this box and just go ahead and bring it back to me. Thanks, king. Like... <laughs> Like, what? Just because she's prettier than you? Yep. And the huntsman is like, um, okay, bet. <laughs> like, well, he's like, at first he's like, no, I don't want to do that. And then she's like, no, you're going to do it. And he's like, I mean, okay. Well, she's the I queen. Guess. Like, he doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I guess. The box she gives him to put the heart in, that was dope. It's a beautiful, ornate box. It is. So we cut to Snow White in the edge of the forest. In some new clothes. She's got on a beautiful dress. Where did she get these clothes? I'm I'm assuming like the prince sent it to her as like a gift or something. Or maybe, like I said, maybe she, you know, has to make appearances. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think she likes to wear her ratty tatty clothes when she's cleaning. I Yeah, I don't know. I never really thought about it. Yeah. Until like, we were just watching it. I was like, why does she all of a sudden have this really cute, fancy, nice, well-sewn dress? Because she's out in public maybe. So she has to like keep up appearances. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the huntsman can't kill her because she's so nice. She and saves cool. a baby bird. <laughs> and then he's like, I can't kill you. You saved a baby bird. <laughs> you have the heart of gold, ma'am. <laughs> and then he tells her to run. Yeah. And so she does. She runs into the forest and everything is scaring her because she's 14 again. And it's dark in the forest and she thinks like logs are alligators and shit. And uh, she just lays on the floor and cries. Yeah, she spins around really dramatic, all scared and then falls on the floor. I also think she only went like 10 feet total because the baby bird that she saved is right there. She didn't (laughs) go very far. She actually only ran, yeah, like 20 feet into the forest. Like... (laughs) a stone throw away from where the huntsman huntsman is just watching her like is this is this bitch good <laughs> i guess i'll go back to the palace now all right i guess she's she's all right she fell on the floor i'm gonna go this way now <laughs> So all the woodland creatures help Snow White out and she's singing to them and they're dancing to her little song and they take her to a house in the forest. Tell me you don't have friends just by singing to freaking animals. The animals are her friends. I know. That's what I'm saying. She doesn't have any like human friends. Uh, who? Uh, her stepmom? <laughs> like I mean, there's people the in their huntsman kingdom. that just tried to cut her heart out. Like who, who girl? I mean, they're, they're a kingdom like of people. There's other any. people there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, man. So the animals take her to a house, a cottage, I'll say, in the woods. And they come upon the house and Snow White goes up to the door. I was like, dang, why is she like so small? And I remembered she was 14. She's literally a child. So she's like <laughs> the size of the dwarf door. <laughs> say that 10 times fast. Say it. Dwarf door, dwarf door, dwarf door. Dwarf door. Dang it. Uh (laughs) I was doing pretty good. You did do pretty (laughs) good. Thank you. (laughs) So they sneak into the house and they're creeping in and Snow White gasps really loud because the house is filthy and all the animals run out because she scares them. She's so dramatic. (laughs) Snow White is literally me. She's like, I've got to clean this place up immediately. She also just assumes that it's a house of dirty orphans. Yeah. 
What? She's like, oh, these children who live in the forest are filthy. (laughs) They don't have parents. They must be dirty orphans. So they whistle while they work and they're sweeping and they're doing the dishes and they're cleaning the house and they're doing the laundry and they're just getting the place all tidied up. Mm -hmm. So we cut to the dwarfs and they're working away at the mines and they're mining diamonds and then the clock strikes and it's time for them to go home so they sing hi ho what'd you call me (laughs) (laughs) i I knew you were gonna do it (laughs) i was trying to talk faster so i could get past it so you wouldn't have time to say it i wasn't quick enough (laughs) she said it nine times during this movie you guys (laughs) it's not funny i'm sorry i'm sorry (laughs) so the Dwarfs put all these diamonds that they mine in giant knapsacks and throw them into the vault and then they lock the vault door and then just hang the key next to the door. What is the point of logging it if the key's literally hanging next to the door? I have no idea. Make it make sense. I can't. I hate it. (laughs) Anyway, so they hi-ho their way home, (laughs) singing along. And then we cut back to the cottage and Snow White is like, I'm going to go upstairs and see what's up there. Because I guess while they were cleaning, they never went up the steps. And this poor little turtle cannot get up the stairs this turtle makes me so sad this whole movie i just want him to have good things and he struggles so (laughs) hard i just love him so snow and all of the woodland creatures make it upstairs and she sees all the names on all the beds which she assumes are the children the orphan dirty children's (laughs) names (laughs) the six-year-olds that live in the woods by themselves dirty as fuck and then she just lays across three of the beds and she's like all right well i'm gonna go to sleep now also imagine how dirty those beds are like how dirty they are and how unkempt their house is and just i can't beds probably smell like sweat and dirt yuck they've never washed those sheets and snow white's just like i'm gonna take a nap here I'd rather sleep outside on the ground, honestly. I really think I would, too. It's like, actually, um, little deer, can you take me to wherever you sleep outside? Yeah, right? Thank I'm you. I'm going to sleep in a meadow. I'll be back. <laughs> so Snow White's sleeping, and the boys come home singing, and Doc notices that the lit's light. I mean, the light's lit. <laughs> Melissa is Doc. Doc gets really tongue-tied, and he's my favorite. <laughs> he gets tongue-tied so much. Mm-hmm. Um, this is when Grumpy says that he knew something was up because his corns were hurting today. It's like a no bones day. He's got like <laughs> premonition corns on his feet. Premonition corns. He knows if it's going to be a good day or not, whether his corns hurt or not. <laughs> is it a bones day or a no bones day? Is, is it, it a, a corns, corns hurt day, day or, or no, no corns, corns hurt day? day? <laughs> I hate it here. Grumpy. He just, he just wakes up and he's like, guys, it's going to be a good day. My corns feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know that they're there. What are corns? Also, what are corns? Really? Yeah. They're like knobs on your feet. Oh, just like like calluses, but like on your feet kind of. Yeah. Don't don't Google it. I'm not going okay. to. I don't want to know. <laughs> feet corns. So Grumpy tells him about his corn premonition. <laughs> and he's like, I knew something was up. So they all go into the house and the house is really clean and Doc is concerned because all the dishes were cleared from their stable. I mean, table. (laughs) And then Bashful gets really sad because his favorite cup was cleaned and there's no more sugar in it. (laughs) What does that even mean? Me. I am literally Bashful in every way, (laughs) shape and form. (laughs) Anxious, but also sad that the sugar is gone from my cup. (laughs) So they hear a noise upstairs and Doc says that one of us has to go down there and chase it up. I mean, go up there and chase it down. So they send Dopey, who I lovingly refer to as Derpy. So they send Derpy upstairs, the bravest of the dwarves. Wait, fun fact. When I worked, ironically, at Seven Dwarfs Mine Train at Magic Kingdom for two years, there was a stray cat that used to walk the track all the time and we named it Derpy. <laughs> it was that. this like fuzzy little kitty cat. Derpy. Derpy. I wonder if he's still there. So Derpy's quaking in his little boots and he goes upstairs and he opens the door and he goes into the room and Snow White starts like moving and moaning and Derpy gets scared and he runs back down the stairs and he tells the boys that there's a monster asleep in their beds. Well, he doesn't say it. He like mimes it. Yeah, because he doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Except for when he yelled when Snow White moved in the bed. Dobie should be (laughs) mutey. 
Stop, Rip. <laughs> so we had awful. Deffy. Awful. <laughs> Deffy and Mutie. <laughs> yeah, the only noise he makes was literally when he ran out of the room. He like literally shouts as he runs out of the room. Yeah, I don't know why he's non-vocal, but I'm here for him. <laughs> we love you, Derp. <laughs> so they all go to kill the monster, and then they realize <laughs> it's actually a beautiful young lady. And Grumpy then says, and I quote, all females is poison. Yes. All females. Is Grumpy wrong? So Snow White wakes up and sees seven little men, and she asks them how they do. And then they don't answer her, and then she looks at them again, and she's like, I said, how do you do? She said, how the fuck do you do she got so aggressive with them they have no manners they're scared of the freaking random lady asleep in their bed anyway they make (laughs) introductions and no she guesses all of their names they don't make introductions they're not like hey i'm dopey i mean (laughs) they are all meeting each other whatever (laughs) and then snow mocks grumpy yeah she's had enough of him already bitch (laughs) Doc calls her the princess, I mean princess, and she's like, yep, that's me, (laughs) the prettiest lady in all of the kingdom, Mm -hmm. it's me. Mm -hmm. And she says that she can't leave their house because the queen will kill her, and they're all like, um, that kind of sucks, what the heck? She's like, so I live with you now, Um, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna do your laundry, and I'm gonna cook for you, and then they all lose their shit, and they're like, you said what about cooking? Food? You're gonna make food? Do you know what Snow White made? Gooseberry pie. No. Oh. Wow. Did you even watch the movie? Is it good soup? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she made them soup. Snow White makes the dwarves soup. She goes downstairs and she takes it off the fire, but she says it's not quite ready yet. And she makes them go wash up. Yeah. These grown men have never taken a bath in their lives. They are filthy. They're disgusting. She's a bossy little 14 year old, isn't she? Really out here bossing around grown ass men. Grumpy is not thrilled. They have to force Grumpy into the tub and wash him down. Yeah, honestly, this part is 700 years long of just them taking a bath. Half of this movie is the dwarves taking a bath fully clothed. Genuinely. Like... (laughs) <laughs> for for what purpose? This could have cut out literally half of this movie. <laughs> this scene was 48 minutes long. <laughs> yeah. And then they give Grumpy um, bows in his hair and his beard and then give him a flower crown and call it a day. Yep. He looks gorge. <laughs> he looks great. He looks like he's ready for EDC. <laughs> <laughs> he's got on his pasties. He's ready to go. <laughs> he's ready to go. <laughs> now we cut to the queen and she's talking to the mirror guy again. And she's like, so now am I the hottest um ever ever and he says well no because uh the huntsman didn't really kill snow white she's actually living in a dwarf's cottage in the woods also he gave you a pig heart yeah she's not happy she got freaking duped she feel dumb now yeah she's really mad so she goes down to her little like sorcerer's lair sorcerer dungeon sorcerer chamber does it matter i don't know i don't know her witch lair. Yeah, her little her little witchy chamber. <laughs> yeah. And she's like dumb mad. And she says that she's going to change her queenly raiment into a hag's cloak. And she's going to make a potion that turns her old so that when she goes to the cottage to kill Snow White, they don't know it's her. Yay, old lady potion. Woo! Uh, she also is going to make a poison apple to give to Snow White to give her a sleeping death. Now we cut to an absolute rager at the door of his cottage in the woods. They are popping off. Grumpy's on the pipe organ. Bashful's got an accordion. Dopey's on drums. We got Doc on bass. We got Sleepy on the recorder. Happy on the lute. They all hit the cypher. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it is a full-blown banger. <laughs> so now they've washed up. They've had dinner. They danced the night away. And now the boys are getting a little sleepy. And they would like a fucking story. Hell yeah. (laughs) So Snow White tells them a story. Well, she sings them a story about her prince and they love it. They're like, wow, this is great. We should keep Snow White forever. She's the best. Snow White knows nothing except for Prince. No brain cell, just Prince. (laughs) Just cleaning and Prince. (laughs) Maybe some cooking, nothing else. (laughs) So Doc lets Snow White have their bedroom because they're all gentlemen. And Derpy tries to sneak away and grab the one pillow that's downstairs. (laughs) Wait, okay, but wait. They really could have just gone upstairs, grabbed their blankets and pillows off the four (laughs) other beds that she was not sleeping. Because she only needed the three that she was sleeping across earlier. You know, they like drew this movie, right? Like with their hands. Yeah. Great. Okay. They took (laughs) a bath for 45 minutes. They can run upstairs and grab some fucking pillows. (laughs) 
Like Snow White has seven blankets, seven pillows, seven mattresses. For no reason. For no reason. Uh, fucking selfish ass bitch. I'd want to cut her head out too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so they're all fighting for the one pillow and they accidentally like rip it to shreds. So now nobody gets the pillow. Okay. Dobie grabs a singular feather and sleeps on that. It's enough. <laughs> it's enough for him. He's comfy. Now we cut back to the old hag. She's finishing up her little apple potion thing to make the apple a poison apple. Then she remembers that there's a stipulation for her spell and she goes and she's like, oh, dang. Okay, so true love's first kiss will break the spell. Okay, great. And then she's like, you know what? It's never going to happen because the dwarfs are going to think she's dead. And they're just going to bury her alive. So it's yeah. fine. She <laughs> could have just stabbed her. It's fine. I don't understand why it got. She had to like make a poison apple and become an old hag. She could have just stabbed her. But also she like. could do the sleeping death and then stab her. Because then even if she gets kissed, she's actually dead. I don't know. She didn't think out this plan. I mean, clearly not. Clearly not. Anyway, it's the next day and the boys all head off to work uh, after they get their kisses. Are we not going to talk about how she just takes a boat into the woods Kat from her was, castle? Cat was obsessed with the queen taking a boat out of the castle. I don't know why. I just, you literally said there's no one in their kingdom. Like, who's going to catch her just walking out as a hag? Go ahead. Talk about I it. I just don't understand why there's a fucking boat. Where did she get the boat? She had to sneak out of her little sorcerer lair. Why? Because she didn't want to get caught. Where did the boat come from? She just had that down there waiting just in case she needed to go kill Snow White one day. Yeah, she <laughs> keeps it for her nefarious deeds. I hated it. <laughs> there was like 20 dead people down there. There was. She kicked a freaking she's water like, jug at some dead guy. She's like mocking dead bodies down in the fucking <laughs> basement. She's a bitch, man. She is kind of really the worst. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Don't worry. She gets her comeuppance. Anyway, back to Snow White kissing all the dwarves. <laughs> Next day, the boys head off to work after... After they get their kisses, uh, Snow White is making pie. This is when she makes pie. Yeah, she makes the gooseberry pie. Just one. With no, 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 she's making one for all of them. Is she? She was working on Yeah, she said, I'm making pies. Oh, I didn't hear the pie. Pay attention. I just saw the one for Grumpy. Also, <laughs> can we talk about how unsanitary it is that she just has the birds helping her make this pie? Well, that's why people died when they were like 38 <laughs> this is back why in the day. Dysentery was a thing. <laughs> birds are helping make gooseberry, gooseberry pie. pie. What does he mean as a gooseberry? A berry. Is it real? Yeah, <laughs> it is. You're a gooseberry. <laughs> You're a gooseberry. <laughs> Anyway, Snow White's home alone. She's making pies for the boys for when they get home. And the old hag comes up to the window, scares the absolute shit out of her. And she just goes, are you alone? And Snow White's like, yeah, man, what's up? Grumpy literally said when he left, the queen is a wily one. So keep an eye out for strangers. Snow White does not know about stranger danger. Do you know? Do you know what? What? His corns told him. You think he had a, a hot corn? <laughs> Corn day! Ah, that made it worse. Do you think no. Grumpy had a bad corn day? I think he woke up he and a bad felt corn his day. corns. Yeah, he he was like, I'm not sure if it's from the dancing all night or if it's I'm having it's a, a bad corn day. He knew. <laughs> he fucking knew. So the old hag offers Snow White an apple for her pie, and Snow White's like, um, no, I'm, I'm, I think I'm good. And then the birds try to stop snow from taking the apples and she shoes them away and then the old hag is like choking so she takes her into rest because she's having like an asthma attack out here on the porch <laughs> she's like water water <laughs> so the animals know that it's the evil queen because you know animals know everything and so they go to get the dwarves because they know that she's about to get got they knew it was a bad corns day yeah and then <laughs> The hag tells Snow White that it's a magic wishing apple and that if she makes a wish and takes a bite of the apple, her wish will come true. Snow hears the word wish and she's like, oh, well, fuck. I had my wishing well and then I got my prince. Now I'm going to get my wishing apple and I'm still going to get my prince. Uh -huh. You said the magic word, which is wish. She makes the longest wish of anyone's lifetime. The hag is over it by the end. She's like, can you just take a bite <laughs> you, of the fucking can apple, you bite please? This apple, Damn, man? I'm trying to kill you over here. I ain't got the time. So Snow White takes a bite out of the apple and she falls on the ground and the dwarves are too late and the hag runs into the stormy night. She scales a mountain with the dwarves and the animals hot on her trail and she tries to push a boulder at them. But then lightning strikes her and she falls off the back of the cliff and then the boulder that she was trying to push onto the dwarves falls on top of her. And then some vultures eat her. Yeah. 
<laughs> I always think of the Disneyland ride at that part, just because like the ride just ends right <laughs> yeah. there and you're supposed to be Snow White. And then all of a sudden you're dead and you're like, you oh, gotta love it. <laughs> damn. <laughs> so now we cut to the dwarves and they're mourning Snow White. And then the book opens and tells us that they think she's too pretty to bury. So they fashion her a coffin of glass and gold. Creepy. Really, really creepy. And they don't think it's weird that she doesn't decompose. Also, then it's fall and then it's winter and then it's spring. Yeah, it's been like a year. And she, and they don't think it's weird that her body has not decomposed. Maybe they figured out that it was some sort of like magic at that point. I don't know. Yeah. So she's not like, she's just straight chilling. I guess I really never realized <laughs> that it's been almost a year. A year goes by. She's 15 now. I mean, she's a full but blown woman. But she's not woman. because she's 14 still because she wasn't alive. She didn't have a birthday. Did you see that thing on TikTok where it was like, oh when God. you, when you turn, <laughs> like I'll be turning 27 this year, but it'll be my 28th year because when you turn one, you've been around for a full year. I hate that. Year. No, I don't like so that. So I'll be working on my 28th year when I turn 27. I will be 27, but I'll be working on my 28th year. I don't want it. This year you turn 30. Sorry. No. That don't make the rules. No. TikTok makes the rules. No. No, I don't like it. I feel like half of my life is is TikTok now. So yeah, they fashion her a coffin of glass and gold. Then we learn that the prince has been searching for his lady love far and wide. And he hears tale of the sleeping beauty in the coffin. That Horrifying. some dwarves watch in the woods. And he's like, you know what? Maybe that's my bitch. <laughs> yeah. and maybe that's her. Like, where were you, bro? <laughs> what? Why did it take you a year? Also, wait, now who's ruling the evil queen's kingdom? Nobody. Okay. Nobody. Prince Charming took it over. It's no. his now. He just, yeah, like, what is it called? Usurped it or whatever. <laughs> He's like, I'm snatch this kingdom over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There was nobody fucking there. So why does it matter? Yeah, because the princess is missing and then the queen died. <laughs> yeah, and there was like nobody there anyway. But also, she's technically missing because she just freaking went in her little fucking boat and didn't tell anyone where she was going. Yeah. Do you think the... <laughs> I just had a fucking like moment. Oh my God. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Do you think the skeleton that was in the dungeon was like her husband? Baby, which one? Uh, there was the one she kicked on the skeletons. water at. Do you think that was the king? Yes. That <gasps> just hit me. I think that's the king. That's sad. That's Snow White's papa. Yeah. Do you think the other skeleton was uh, Snow White's mom? Maybe the original queen. Whoa. <laughs> She'd be killing. I mean, yeah, obviously. I'm sure the huntsman ended up down there. Oh, he's definitely dead. When she figured out there was a fucking pig heart, he was the first to go. Yeah. Before she even crawled in that little boat. He probably ran away, I would imagine, if he's smart. He gave her that pig heart and, and then hauled ass. gtfo <laughs> He got out of there. I think so. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> We've gone on far too long. I think I'm right, though. <laughs> so the prince comes upon... Snow White in her sleeping death. And he's like, you know what? Let me give this one-year-old corpse a little kiss on the mouth. Ugh. Nasty. Nasty. I don't care that she's not decomposed. She has still been dead for a year. <laughs> it's not good. It's so gross. <laughs> and to everyone's surprise, Snow White wakes up. <gasps> what? Crazy. Everyone is super jazzed. The prince carries her to his horse and takes her away to a kingdom in the sky barely lets the dwarves who have been caring for this fucking dead bitch for a year say goodbye to her just carts her off on a horse and leaves who's gonna mind the diamonds let them at least have a moment with they can her hang out later he's literally carrying her off and she does her little wave and then uh -huh. he puts her on the horse and they go yeah and then they live happily ever after she would literally be in the ground if it wasn't for those dwarves the end why i hated that <laughs> wild worst ending ever it's a little abrupt. <laughs> and the freaking 14-year-old can't even say bye to her old men friends before she gets carted off by the 27-year-old prince. The bath scene went on far too long, but... Yeah, yeah but we can't have a proper ending, God forbid. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> I think it's perfect. The end. The end. Oh, man. You want to go first? Sure. Go for it. So I gave Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs an 8 out of 10. Oh, okay. I was really debating on a seven, but I gave it an eight. Why? I, really, it's Snow White for me. If it weren't for Snow White herself, I truly think I would enjoy this movie more. But her voice, and I know it was the times. I know that was like the the times, that's the singing and the high-pitched. Uh -huh. 
I can't stand it. I can't listen to it. <laughs> and the fact that I had to work at Mind Train for two years, just honestly, <laughs> everything in this movie, the freaking vault door, the, where they wash their hands was, is a part of the queue. Oh, Every man. single little inch of this fucking movie triggers me. So I gave it an eight. It's lucky it got that. <laughs> it is now sitting at number 37. So it's underneath Oliver and Company, but it is above Ratatouille. So I do like this movie more than Ratatouille. Wow. <laughs> Weird. We're like really close. Okay. I give Snow White and the Seven Dwarves a seven out of 10. Should have um, given it a seven. Damn, I fucked up. My <laughs> favorite part of this movie is like when they're like talking about murdering her and putting her heart in a box. That's really the only thing I like. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I like the turtle. Um, It's cute. Yeah. It's not one of my favorite movies. Yeah. It's really awesome. It's one of, It's just classic. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I love mm-hmm. Snow White's dress too. It's honestly super cute. I like um, that it's like the primary colors. Yeah, Snow White can actually shut the fuck up, though. Mm-hmm. She's Sorry. bossy. Her voice is <laughs> Her annoying. Voice is really annoying. <laughs> She's just a dumb bitch. Yeah. She has no nose. Um, So I gave uh, a point for every dwarf. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so seven out of ten. It's my number 36, so it's really close. And I put it um under Oliver and Company and above Lady and the Tramp. Oh. So we were, like, weirdly in the same, like, area. I gave a point for every dwarf and one for the turtle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he was the redeeming quality of this movie. One for the huntsman. <laughs> no, he can also choke. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to post our updated list on Instagram, too, Yee! since we're at, like, a good solid number. I think the last time we posted was for our 30th episode was the last time we posted an update of our list, I, I think. think so. Sounds about right. Which was like a super long time ago. Oh my God, we've done 20 movies since then. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Are you ready to guess our next movie? Yeah. Okay. This is a late 90s movie. Okay. It is animated. Goofy. Oh, is it a Christmas movie? It's Christmas. Uh, An animated Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. God, I always feel so dumb when I guess. Um, My next hint is definitely going to give it away because I couldn't think of any other hints for this movie. Okay. So this movie has multiple stories and they all have- Mickey's Christmas. Mickey's very Christmas party musical (laughs) review. (laughs) I can't think of what it's called. Once Upon a Christmas. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. That's what I was, that's what I said. (laughs) Yeah. This is one of my favorite movies. There's actually random things in this movie that I quote all the time. I- Love this movie. Me too. Next stop, Waterdale. Waterdale. That's what I was just going to say. We say that all the time. Where are my boys? <laughs> Where, Where are my, my kisses? kisses? I love it. Oh my God. Me too. It's such a good when one. When she does her little shimmy. shimmy. And then they like, shimmy <laughs> when the when Huey Dewey and Louis shimmy with her. That I also just lives like, rent free in my mind. I just love the classic Fab Five, yeah. the Sensational Six. Like I love Yay. the Huey Dewey and Louie. I'm so, so excited. excited. And Christmas. Christmas. Yay. Both of our birthdays will have passed. If you want to celebrate our birthdays, we have a Patreon. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> I not. I mean, but if you want to. Yeah, join our Patreon. Yes, we've done Beetlejuice. We've done Harry Potter 1 and 2 and then 3 and 4 coming. We've done Twilight. We've done the first Twilight movie. We've done trolls. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's tons of bonus content. We make videos where we talk about Disney icons. We talk about TV shows. Different. We do pilots. Yeah, mm-hmm. Disney TV show pilots. And we talk about those. And those videos are really funny. So, yeah. Patreon's really fun. It's just $5 a month. It supports us. And you'll get more fun stuff. And in the summer, you'll get a merch box. Yeah. And that's like coming up. Mm -hmm. Like, that's like six months away, kids. Yeah, we're going to start planning our next one after the first of the year. We're really excited. Coming in hot. Yeah. They're going to be themed this year, too. So Mm -hmm. it'll be really fun. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about that. We're so pumped. Um, Yeah, if you haven't left us a review, please leave us a review. We need more reviews. Mm -hmm. Leave a review. Please. Leave a review. Please. Thank you. That was it. Yay. Well, we love you guys. We wish you a beautiful day. That was my half a brain cell trying to work. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Bye. (laughs) Remember, you're the one that fills the world with sunshine. That's from Snow White. She sings that (laughs) with a smile and a song. Great. (laughs) Bye. (laughs) These opinions are our own and are in no way associated with the film or the film's production company. The cover art for Tragical was created by Johnny the Alchemist.
The theme song for Tragical was produced by Ja Reezy. Contact info for both artists can be found on their Instagrams, which are linked in the show notes. Thanks for listening to Tragical. So grumpy, um, grumpy. <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> Grimpe says it's a corn's day. <laughs> Guys, it's a corn's day, so it's grumpy. It storms in Berlin, it's a corn's day. <laughs> Too hungover. I'm sorry that we make you guys listen to this. <laughs> Why do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> There's been 50 episodes of this. <laughs> it's grumpy, right? <laughs> no. Now every time I say grumpy, I'm gonna think of that. <laughs> grumpy is not wrong. <laughs> All women is poison. <laughs> I'm getting that tattooed on me, and then I'm gonna quote grumpy. <laughs> No, I did not know about snakes. <laughs> I can't. I'm All right. Doc. All right, Doc. <laughs> Back it up. I'm Doc. Tragical. <laughs> <laughs>